Jersey Sports Zone's 2023 Camp Countdown Series is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Regional is brought to you by Monmouth Medical Center in Long Branch. Shane Fallon begins his third season at Red Bank Regional, staying patient with the process. From four wins in year one to seven in year two, Fallon is happy to see his team continue to make strides. We're in year three. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. You know, it's it's a process, and there's no, you know, uh, quick fixes and easy solutions to any of this. Uh, you know, it. Uh, you know, we. My coaching staff and I have been through this, you know, at other schools in terms of building programs, and uh, we'll we'll get Red Bank Regional, you know, you know, as consistent as can be. And I think um, winning gave us a lot of confidence, but we got We're really big on fundamentals, so that's just what we've kind of been built on, and we're going to stay to that. Two-way lineman Griffin Egan came out of nowhere in the late part of his junior season to become a college prospect. At six foot four, 255 pounds, Egan had four sacks on Thanksgiving against Long Branch. From there, he went on to earn offers from every Ivy League school during the summer season and has committed to Harvard. The Bucks have a shining example of hard work paying off. I mean, let's face it, the, the kid, you know, comes in here to Red Bank Regional. He had moved here, you know, during COVID, I think from Brooklyn. Uh, so he just fell into our lap um, and they happen to move to Little Silver and that works out awesome for us. You know, I think it's going to motivate the team because there is another guy in here who's going to be just like me, who's going to go play at that next level. And I hope that I can be a leader this year. I know I'm going to be a leader this year, and I'm going to show the new guys, the young guys, that they can be just like me and they can play at that next level. With QB Pierce Olsen gone to graduation and an ongoing battle in camp for his replacement, the Bucks will turn to a dynamic one-two punch in the backfield to kickstart the offense early. Gunnar Eckerstrom ran for over 500 yards and 11 touchdowns in his junior season. Jasir Jones had 697 yards on the ground and five scores. This duo feeds off of each other's successes, and there'll be plenty of opportunities for both talented backs to have even bigger numbers in 2023. The chemistry is really there. We've been working with each other for like since freshman year. Um, Gunner, like he he's a phenomenal back as well. Like he knows what he's doing. Like he knows what it takes to like you know be able to run the offense. And uh, I think with me and him in the backfield, it'll be like a a great duo in the shore. Liam Stack had 77 tackles and will be one of the leaders of the RBR defense. Like many of the Bucks veteran players, he'll be just as important on both sides of the ball, in his case, at wide receiver. The Bucks' successful 2022 results in a tougher 2023 slate in the Shores Colonial Division, the second highest league in the conference, along with a non-divisional matchup against Donovan Catholic. RBR fell short of the playoffs last year, but scored three consolation wins, building their confidence. Now this group looks to leave its mark as the culture of Bucks football continues to grow. Yeah, that's definitely the goal. I love playing with all these, uh, all these, all my friends, and like playing in front of all my friends. So it'd be definitely a good feeling to leave this place in in, uh, in great hands. So for the future Bucks, I'm crazy excited. We got a tougher schedule this year, and we're really going to compete. Every year we've gotten extremely better. We've made leaps and bounds and we're going to be great this year. In Little Silver, I'm Rich Krampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.